Welcome brothers and sisters. Welcome once again. Today we'll be talking about how do you believe in God? My experiences, my thoughts, how I believe in God. Be sure to stay tuned towards the end while we're going to talk about what we've learned today and how we're going to use that to spiritually develop. Stay tuned. So how do you believe in God? Me, I believe in the open-ended source. I believe that no human book can contain the full awesome, the all. The Most High God is the all, the unified field. Can I be contained fully in a book? Can I be contained fully in a human mind? So how can it be fully contained in a book? I believe if you, be, I believe if you believe only within the confines of a religion, you are undermining your uh, your idea of God. If God is, you know, the all, um, the unfathomable, the ineffable. Then a portion of what I believe. Uh, of God needs to be open-ended as the open-ended source. We can't think of it all. We can't contain it all. And yet some keep their study within the confines of a religion. When how can you fully come to know um, all of God uh, while doing that? So uh, my belief is not contained within the confines of a religion. That is how I believe in God. My experience when seeing how others believe in God, I see a difference between, you know, religiously trained and still within the confines of an organized religion. And those who have chosen to break free of just that, they have not forgotten what they've learned. They've only expanded on it. Uh, And in my experience, this breeds greater faith. This breeds greater knowledge. It cements greater powers within the self for after studying religion and, and seeing what organized religions does people believe God is a part of them they believe you know he is there though they still doubt their powers in it Um, and sometimes those powers just have like a religious overtone uh, over them and um still those powers are confined uh, within a religion. And many times um, I see the religiously trained uh, or strictly religiously trained on God. I see little to no practice. Maybe we'll practice some prayers, practice being a good person. Hands-on work on the self, even hands-on work in the self can work wonders for you um, when you're inspired by um, different religious, different texts, different techniques. Um, They can really take your spiritual development to another level. I didn't want to be one of the people who simply believed in God and I went to church and came back the next week, came back home from church maybe a little different than as the week went by, you know, the world touched me again and, you know, now I need Jesus again, you know, um, without any, you know, core work cemented in the self, you know, um, 
to where I don't need Jesus necessarily. Um, don't need Jesus necessarily, meaning the religion. You know, um, obviously, um, Christ, the Atman, is everyone, is every self. So no one can go without that Christ, you know. Um, and you'll know that being, whether you're a Christian or not, when you'll die, you'll know who that being is. Because I think, I know it'll reveal itself to you. Uh, I am you. I am everything you are and everything you can be. Um, and uh, our belief in God should not limit who we are. But it should do the opposite. It should unlimit what we are. And how do you believe in God in this time? Um, you believe all the craziness in the world is happening to ruin? So we can be destroyed? Is there any belief that the light has come? We say the world is changing and people in India know that we've crossed a dark part in our cycles of time and we've come into, um, I forgot the name for it, I'll find it. And, you know, we, we're, we're moving into a different era, you know, an era of prosperity, an era of uh, upliftment. Um, and if you believe that God loves you, then you believe that, you know, a time such as that is coming. Um, me, and I'm not the only one, believe that that time is now. So how do you believe in God? Do you believe that... We're put here to die from some whack ass disease? No. We're here to change. So, how are we going to use this knowledge we've learned here and our way of belief to spiritual develop? Well, if you believe that God is a part of you, and God is the open-ended source, then you know that you are not too far from it. If you know that you are not too far from it, you are prayer away, you are a blessing away, this should give you great confidence, great faith, great um, knowledge that your spiritual parentage has not left you. It is not far away to know that we are not separate. There are many lies in the world and many lies that will be revealed. Many lies that have been revealed already, though people do not believe. When the great revealing is complete, ultimately, I believe our beliefs and how we believe in God will uh, further align at that point. When the veil of separation is removed, uh, we will be on one accord with how we believe in God. And this um, raises our consciousness. This takes us into the evolutionary mindset that I spoke about in another video. It's knowing fully being a part and living a part of that truth that we are sons and daughters of God. That truth is the truth that will set us free. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell notification to be notified for when I have something else available to help your spiritual consciousness journey.
continue to shift your consciousness with this next video.